Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 8 to the power x plus 2 to the power x, this is equal to 222. What is the value of x? Now let's prevent the solution from here. We have 8 to the power x plus 2 to the power x, this is equal to 222. We can express 8 to the power x as 2 to the power 3 raised to the power x then plus 2 to the power x, this is equal to 222. Now, 2 to the power 3 raised to the power x, this is in the form of a to the power n raised to the power m, which we can express as a raised to the power m raised to the power n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power x raised to the power 3, then plus 2 to the power x, this is equal to 2. 22. The next step is that we can say let 2 to the power x be equal to m. Let's substitute why we have 2 to the power x with m. So we have m to the power 3 plus m. This is equal to 22. The next step is let's take 222 on the left hand side so that we have m to the power 3 plus m subtract 222, this is equal to 0. The next step is that we have m to power 3 plus m, then subtract 216. We have m to power 3 plus m minus, we can expect 222 as 216 plus 6, this is equal to 0. Now we have m to power 3 plus m minus 216, we can express 216 as 6 to power 3, then minus times plus 6, this is minus 6, this is equal to 0. We have m to power 3, subtract 6 to power 3 here, then plus m minus 6, this is equal to 0. This particular part here, this is the difference of two cubes, express as a to power 3 minus b to power 3. We can express this as a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. This implies that m power 3 minus 6 to power 3, this is actually equal to m minus 6. Here we have m squared plus 6m, then plus 6 squared, which is that the 6, this is equal to 0. We have two parts here. The first part is m minus 6, this is equal to 0. The second part here is m to power 2 plus 6m plus 36, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, m is equal to 6. So let's solve for the values of m in the second case here. The second part here, this is a quadratic equation of the form am squared plus bm plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 36. So we can apply the quadratic formula here to solve for m1 and m2, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac over 2 times a. Substituting the values of a, b, and c from here, we have minus 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is 6 squared minus 4, times a which is 1 times c which is 36 over 2 times 1. So this implies here we have minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared this is 36 minus 36 times 4 this is actually 144 all this divided by 2. 
So we have here minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 144. This is minus 108 over 2. So this is the same thing as minus 6 plus or minus the square root of minus 108, which you can express as 36 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. So this implies here we have minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36, this is 6. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3 over 2. So this implies that from here we can factor out 2 so that we'll have 2 into the parentheses minus 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. So let's simplify here so that we have m, that is m1 and m2 equal to minus 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3. So these are two complex solutions here. These are two complex solutions. And this, two, this part cannot give us a real solution. So from here, we can't have a real solution. So there's no real solution from this quadratic part. So this is a complex solution. We have only m1. We only have m1, which is equal to 6. There's no real solution from m1 and 2 since we have complex solutions from here. So we only have m, which is equal to 6. This is the one that can provide us a real solution. Now, if you recall, if you recall from here, we can say that let 2 to power x be equal to m. We have that 2 to power x, this is equal to m, which is equal to 6. To solve for x, we introduce natural logarithm on both sides as follows. So that here we have rog 2 to power x. This is equal to rog 6. So rog 2 to power x, this is in the form of rog a to power n, which you can express as n rog a. Applying this power root property of logarithm, then you find that rock 2 to power x becomes x rock 2. This is equal to rock 6. Let's divide both signs by rock 2 and also here by rock 2. Let's simplify here so that x is equal to rock 6 divided by rock 2. Now, rock 6 over rock 2, this is actually in the form of rock A over rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, then this implies that x is equal to rock 6 to base 2. Now, this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have that 8 to power x plus 2 to power x. This should give us a value of 222. Substituting the values of x, we have 8 raised to power rog 6 to base 2 plus 2 raised to power rog, 6 to base 2, this should give us a value of 2, 22. We can express 8 as 2 to power 3. So from here, we have 2 to power 3, raised to power rog, 6 to base 2, then plus 2 raised to power rog, 6 to base 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 2, 22. Now we have 2 to power 3, multiplying by rock 6 to base 2, 
This is in the form of a to power n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power n times m. So this implies we have 2 to the power 3, rog 6, 2 base 2, then plus 2 raised to the power of 6, 2 base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 2, 22. Now, you find that 2 to the power of 6 to be to base 2 and 2 to power 3 rog 6 to base 2 this is actually in the form of m to power of a to base m which we, which is essentially equal to this is equal to a so let's apply this logarithm property from here you find that 3 is a power so we have 2 to power of 6 to power 3 to base 2 then plus 2 to power of 6 to base 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 2, 22. Now, applying this property, then you find that here we'll have 6 to power 3, plus here we have 2 to power of 6 to base 2, this is the same thing as 6, this is supposed to give us a value of 2, 22. So 6 to power 3 here, this is 2, 16, then plus 6, this is supposed to give us a value of 2, 22. So from here, we have that 2, 16 plus 6, this is equal to 2, 22. So this implies that This implies that the left hand side is 222. This is equal to 222. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this implies that this implies that the value of x satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.